Women will now be required to register for selective service, which would enable them to be drafted. You guys wanted equality. You guys said anything he can do, I can do better. Andale, ahí les llega. Show if you can do better. Stop complaining. Sign your name. Come on to the dark side. But this is not what we meant when we said we wanted equality. Well, that's what equality for all looks like, sweetie. So, lace them boots up. He's 18 to 26. Hope you're ready to get drafted. It is not just the boys that will get drafted in World War III. It's no mystery that nearly every branch of the military has not been meeting its recruiting goals. The Air Force, the Army, the Navy missed by over 7,000 sailors, and the Coast Guard's not even real military, but we'll include them to be nice, but they missed too. And women being drafted into the military, this is not the first time this conversation has come up. Back in 2021, which doesn't he look so grumpy? Senator Hawley brought this back up in 2022, and I doubt he's forgotten it considering the saber rattling happening globally. And there are several other senators that are in support of women being required to register for the draft. Besides the recruiting crisis, this comes at a time when the president has approved an inactive reserves to be called back, approximately 3,000 personnel. And there are several consultants to the White House and the Pentagon, like Lieutenant Colonel Joe Plinsler, who has not only requested for women to be drafted, but a mandatory draft for all citizens. He thinks it'll help the public connect better with the government and why they make decisions. And this all comes at a time when the U.S. continues to antagonize Russia by sending funding and military equipment to Ukraine and antagonizing China by funding Taiwan, so good luck. Yeah, and the situation with Russia and China is my biggest concern. But, like I said, this is what y'all asked for. <laughs> What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. At the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So, man, um, the internet been going crazy about this, man. And it's, it's interesting to see uh, women's reaction. It, 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 and honestly, I'm kind of surprised how mixed it is. Uh, <laughs> but the most obvious reactions that we get is how... You know, those women who act like they don't need a man and they can do everything a man can do. But as soon as something like this happens, just like I said, just like I learned from Andrew Tate, when it comes down to it, both genders revert back to their natural biological roles. <laughs> man and and if and if this does really happen that that's exactly what you're gonna see happen as a matter of fact check this out a new bill before congress would require young women for the first time to register for the draft just like young men what the senate armed services committee advancing a bill that if signed into law would require young women for the first time to register for the draft at 18 just like their dads and brothers we are living in the 21st century where men and women are to be considered equal then we have to be considered equal on all fronts if it was uh, a draft that included young men and young women that seems appropriate and fair i think that's fair i do i think I, I, women are being included in everything and i hopefully we don't end up in a situation where we ever need the draft again now ma'am you seem to be the only one that was brutally honest well somewhat honest out of all the women that they chose to cut into this particular shot but let's be real i'm pretty sure they asked other women and other women probably had the complete opposite answer because yeah this was on somebody's news channel but the reactions that we're seeing on tiktok are completely different check this out Okay, y'all, this is a totally different type of content today, and I look busted, absolutely busted, but I just came in from work. Again, no makeup. My hair looks like trash. I don't even care at this point because I'm frantic. So ever since I was little, I've had this super irrational, scary phobia of, like, war being bombed, like, nuclear weapons, like, all that stuff. Like, I would freak the frick out. And then with all this stuff with Ukraine and Russia, I don't know where I've been the past few days, but I'm just now hearing of all of it, like earlier today at work. I'm like hyperventilating at my desk, sweating, asking all my coworkers to tell me something to make me feel better about this. But there's really nothing at this point. 
Um, so my therapist was like, you should do some mindfulness. So I'm being mindful and I have made a long detailed list of why I should not be considered for the draft. Dear God, I don't want to be drafted. Big thank you to the uber feminists out there. You're the ones who are like, women can do anything. Yeah, I'm, I can do everything a man can do. Okay, well, you opened your big trap. You had to open your big trap. Now women might be drafted in the military. Ooh. And you can't even complain about it because you wanted this. You wanted equality for all. Not that, you know, I want women to be a b or anything. Bruh. If I get drafted to the war, I... I'm gonna say an explosive diary every day. Close quarters. Nobody's gonna want that. Mm -mm, no, I do not want to do that. So I think you're being like really toxic and honestly gaslighting me. Bruh. And my therapist said I do not have to deal with that. So it's gonna be a no for me, dog. Hypothetical situation. When we get out there, we're on the front lines. All of us ladies, because obviously we're all gonna be together. We do not want to be around y'all. Um, but what are we gonna do when we all sync up? Y'all could barely handle it when we were in high school and we're all on our periods and now we have guns as well. So just let me know. I started at Purdue Global because it was really easy to try to balance classes, writing paper. We'll have that, how y'all are going to react to that. Okay. So see, there's like a lot of pockets on our uniforms. Um, did these all have to have like military stuff in it or can I put some snacks? Because, I mean, these would fit my snacks perfect. I can fit almost a whole pound of beef jerky in this one pocket on my leg. Can you at least let me know, like, where I'm going to be sent to? Like, where the little, what's it called? Base? Or, where, I don't know. Wherever I'm going to freaking be with all my other people, I need to call them. Because I need to know the filtration system on the water. I've been working real hard on this here. I cannot be just well water. Are you crazy? I need a filter. Whatever. Can I at least like wear my AirPods? Listen to an audiobook? What's the Wi-Fi situation out there on the front lines? Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. right? And, 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 and you seeing a lot of that on TikTok, man. Matter, I want you to check out some of these comments that I've been coming across throughout all these videos. Check this out. It said, girl, I used, I used my period to get out of PE. I'm not fighting in a war. Wow. This woman, do they have a Lululemon version of the uniform? Bruh. You stupid. There better be a Duncan near our military base. Can't go otherwise. Oh yes, I can definitely be trusted with mili military grade weapons. <laughs> I'm in my healing era, sorry. Oh my god. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Everybody, all these women keep mentioning a period. <laughs> oh man, I'm like, it must be nice to use that as an excuse to not do everything. Uh, or anything should I say. My therapist said I should stand my ground and say no to anything that makes me uncomfy. Okay. Look here. I belong in the kitchen. Y'all stay safe out there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> so ha! I'm a strong and independent woman. I want to be a stay-at-home wife. Crying emoji. Say I didn't vote for that ish. I just want to be a housewife. Girl me too. <laughs> okay. Say, I think we're going to have a baby boom if they activate the draft. Oh my god. Yeah, after seeing that girl throw away them birth control pills, I believe it too. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Could be a connection to that considering they um turned over Roe v. Wade. I don't know. Y'all know me. Y'all know y'all know I'm such a consp conspiracy theorist. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way I know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler, link is in the description, as well as my latest mixtape, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, you guys, deuces.